I noticed it in PCR, which is the casting report, and uh, I I read the brief concerning the audition and what was involved. And after reading the brief, um, I felt there was something I would like to be involved with. You know, great small catchy title, and um, I was at one point. You know, I, I'm Catholic, so I'm into Catholicism, and um, but a major black slider. You know, um, and I thought this is something that might might tackle religion in a way. But I'm in no means willing to knock Catholicism in any way, shape, or form. You know, um, I I'll, I obviously don't think you know I don't believe in all the ideals. I believe some of them are a bit twisted and perverted nowadays. But um, I was I was I was intrigued and. Wanted to want to become involved. Um, it's about this guy who uh, communes um, with God, Jesus. Um, uh, he has a picture of him in front of him. Um, basically, what he does is he can, he's trying to commune with Jesus, but uh, is constantly interrupted by this fly. Um, he constantly interrupts him trying to commune with this spirit, uh, and he gets agitated by it. Um, he tries to con you know control himself and just continue with communing, but it, he, no sooner has he started his communing again that it he's he's interrupted by this fly, you know and you know how persistent flies can be. So therefore, um, what he does is he uh, exerts his authority and tries to um, tries to kill the fly and tries to slap snap it between his hands. Fails with that, so he uh, grabs a newspaper. Leaves the room, grabs the newspaper, comes in, swats a couple of times, can't find the fly, notices the fly and the picture of Jesus, and uh, therefore goes over to it, and swats the fly, manages to get it, and ends up leaving sort of a tear on Jesus' cheek, which he goes on to rub, and therefore we get this sort of, sort of this sort of effect of a tear on Jesus' face as if, as if he's sad. Um, what the film's trying to communicate, I, well, from my perspective, um, basically it's sort of tackling religion in a way. Um, this guy um, trying to commune with a spirit, yet there's all, there's, for me it's, it's like there's all these, um, the words left my head, <laughs> there's all these distractions in life. Um, where people want to be committed, people want to do the right thing, people want to, you know, but yeah, he's, caught, there's so many of these distractions about that he can't focus and he can't keep his, you know, everything in, in, in this day in life is high paced, you can't keep your focus on one thing for more than 20 seconds, everything's not, no, no, no. And I think, it, for me, it's kind of a reflection of that, um, in simple terms, and, uh, but basically he, he gets back to it um, once he has this distraction over and done with, and basically people don't focus on People don't spoke, focus on their, their religion as much as they used to. They focus on the here and now. And that's basically what I find, that he, he has to deal with these distractions, first of all, to get back to where he wants to be. They knew what they wanted. They had a picture in their head of what they wanted. And basically, when a director and a director of photography have that in their head, you basically just work with that, you know, and do the best that you can do. And basically, all I had to do was on the acting side of things is just be in the moment and um, be the character and try and give um, what's expected of me really and should that not come up trumps well then I'm sure the director will tell me and I'll, I'll try something new but yeah I found it uh, a very enjoyable experience.